back to more Mighty Number no. 9. Yay. To fight the final of the Mighty Numbers in the worst level. But first, a cutscene. Love this guy's box fort. <laughs> Who animated that? That's fucking terrible. No, wait, oh look. God. Oh, gee. <laughs> 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 Look at that shit! Oh my God. How do you even do that, though? Like, how do you even only color part of the word? I don't know why. Th I noticed this game like highlights so many like sec like any. It's like it's like in school when they're like, oh, highlight all the important parts, but they don't know what the important parts are, so they just highlight everything. <laughs> That's what this game's like dialogue is. Not to mention that, yeah, it's not animated at all. Jeez. Oh, oh, Sonic Forces is better animated. And that's fucking <laughs> saying something. <laughs> you know, as loath as I am to give Sonic Forces a port a point, yeah, it, it kind of is. I love that animation he just did. He did this big arm thrust and he was like, Blackwell only saw the dangers. <laughs> like, you think he's going to get like really intense and say something like, Blackwell only saw the... But instead he's just, black wall, oh my god. <laughs> that animation he does <laughs> reminds me of, like, one of Sonic's animations in SA1 when he puts his arms out. And we get, when he gets, like, ready to fight Gamma, it's like, this game is terrible. And now it's to fight the only cool mighty number, Shade. But this Although, is the worst level in the game, though. Yeah, and he has the and he has the worst level in the game. So it, it's it's a, a little bit of call. It, it's it's what Mighty Number no. Nine does. It, it gives you some, but then takes some away. I thought you said the previous level was the worst level in the game. No, I said yeah, was, but I forgot that this level existed. So this is actually <laughs> the worst level. In the game. So I should explain what this what this level is. Is that it's basically one straight line yeah. that you go in and circle through. So if anyone listening to this. Um, follows uh, our, our, our Patreon and listens to, to the podcast me and TJ do. I think two, two weeks ago, we, we were recording when I'm playing this level. And after about 20 minutes, I realize I'm going in a straight line. And you can hear me get very frustrated with this level. Because I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And then I start playing Mega Man instead, and all was right with the world. So what you're supposed to do is that you follow the gunshots until you find Shade, and then Shade will teleport somewhere else, so you have to follow those gunshots until you get to him. And you basically just keep doing that for like five time, five or six times, but the more you do that, the more insta-kill lasers will start showing up all over the place. And if you die at any point, you gotta do the whole thing all over again. I don't there's think no... there's a checkpoint until the boss fight. There isn't. There's only yeah. one checkpoint, and it's at the boss door. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my it is God. so no. that th th this Fuck is the level this. that took me, not counting the Avi boss fight. This level took me the most the most amount of time. Which, at the very least, uh, Shade didn't make me want to like tear my hair out like with his voice, because like like we mentioned, it's Steve Bloom and like he's doing his Wolverine voice, but it's a cool voice. I don't care. Why why couldn't Steve Bloom have done his Gobbleman voice for this role? <laughs> Because Digimon is trash. Ooh. Wait, was Steve Bloom Gobbleman? Yeah, I think so. Steve, oh, Steve Bloom was a handful of dudes. I think Digimon was one of his first, um, first anime roles after after um, Cowboy Bebop. I think he was also Gilmon. I think possibly he was. It was a. Sh it was. It was a, like a handful of different Digimon. I do. I like Brand's weapon because it basically makes you zero. Yeah, but what? It also allows you to phase through objects or phase through enemy gunfire and stuff. Yep. But why would why? I mean, th 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 this is maybe just being you know a real life pedantic. But why would a sword really hurt a robot for? It's sharp. It's pointy. So the, I like how you're also slashing that thing and it doesn't do damage on it sometimes. Like you're clearly hitting it, and sometimes it just doesn't hit the robot for some but, reason but that, that, that's also just because i'm terrible at shooting. this is like the first time i'm using it and i'm like crap how do i use this again <laughs> yeah but the hit the effect for the the effect for the attack is clearly bigger than the hitbox for it so right. it looks like you're missing stuff you should not be able to miss and also the, the, these things are fine look like big atm machines
and right after this right after this part is when we end up back at the beginning and then that's this is when i realized oh crap this is this is all in a circle and is I'm this like, your where? first playthrough of the game of this level i had i because when i was recording this i hadn't uh, beaten the game yet so, so we're this the level, first experience yeah, here. Th yeah, this level is my first experience because I'm like, crap, what do I do? Oh, God. Uh, you, played, how much yeah, did you, you die in this level? A lot! Because <laughs> <laughs> once those pink insta kill death lasers start popping up, it's like, fuck this stage! That's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I will be perfectly honest with you, I have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, where's my Let's Play cards? I'm sure I have lots of cards. <laughs> <to bring. laughs> Did this you guys know about bad. the red, green, yellow, blue, uh, Excel powers that you get from the enemies? I, I no. didn't. I had to ask. We had Ryan on for part three, and I had to ask him, uh, what do these things do? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, they give you, they give you extra power-ups. I'm like, oh... Cause like the blue ones are the only way you know to get like sub tank or X tank energy. Like yeah. you have to hit all the blue robots, <laughs> absorb all the energy. What? <laughs> oh no! I exploded. Oh uh, dude, I was I, I thought you were gonna put the fucking the Stolter Creek intro at that. <laughs> 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 I hate that theme <laughs> song so much. He's the Stolter Creek is the true villain of this game. <laughs> uh. Can't this is the well, I mean, show. Well, Why is the theme song so serious? Why is it so it, like I like not to not to keep shitting on on <laughs> that thing, but like, that intro is one of the worst things ever made oh by anyone. It's so fucking ugly. And they keep they keep changing it every year. Like they keep the song, but worse. they change the intro every year. It gets worse. It's so oh bad. God. It's so fucking. Because bad. he's not the, good at Photoshop. He doesn't know how to do oh, Photoshop. Dude, dude, you know for a fact he did not edit that. He can't even fucking. <gasps> oh, he no. can't even fucking use a Skype recorder, let alone edit that thing together. <laughs> Like, whoever edited that... The beginning of that song always sounds like an edgy circle of life to me. No, I have... I have <laughs> circle of life. I, I, have, I have seen in, in YouTube memes, I've seen that intro so many times that I always just look at the way he kind of, kind of like, spins the gun around, and it looks... Like, you can tell he has no idea how to hold a real gun. <laughs> like, he has no idea what the fuck he's doing with this little cheap little plastic toy gun. It's, a, it's like a little boy playing dress-up. It's adorable. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't. He loves guns, but he doesn't Ooh. actually know how to use them safely or responsibly, just like any real American. <laughs> oh. oh! The soldier critic, the true embodiment oh. of the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why Mystic Mansion? Because this is a mansion, and it's very mystic. This isn't Canada. a mansion, it's a freaking government building! This is the Capitol yeah. building. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's true. I mean, this level is far too long and tedious like Mystic Mansion, so I suppose it fits in that exactly. way. Exactly. Also, I love that song. I just wanted an excuse to play it. <laughs> Fair enough. Right on. Okay. Yeah, th this is the part where I start dying a lot. Because these stupid pink lasers. So are those, no, don't, are th don't run away from shade. So are those, are those pink lasers, are those pink lasers instant kill? Yes. Maybe okay, gotcha. Wow. That's... Yeah, if you don't damage Shake quick enough, he gets away, and then you have to chase him again. And again, you don't go to the boss room until you've dealt out enough damage to him. It's not just like catching up to him. You have to hurt him a bit, then you can go to the boss room. Oh my... wow. Oh, yeah, like, I died, genius. so now I gotta do all that again. Died as he <laughs> lived crazy. Living dead. Because I thought that was an ATM machine, so I was like, oh, he got killed by money. Of course he did. Just like, just, just like, like it, it, just like in a Pune's career. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that 3DS version is coming. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's doing now exactly? Laughing, <laughs> laughing at all the idiots up still around. Did they go under? I would be very no. surprised if Red Ash actually happens. <sighs> Comps, comps is still come around. Like they, they released, they released a game like last year. Uh, I forget what it was, but I played it. Uh, well, I forget. Did, 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 did Red Ash? Did that Kickstarter go through? Because if so, he, he kind of has to uh, make that game. That's fair. Kind of. So, a couple no, ended it didn't. up funding it anyway. The Kickstarter for the Yeah, there like, were two OVA Kickstarters. One for uh, art anime thingy. That, that passed. There was another one for the game itself, which did not, but they got picked up by some 
shady Chinese company or whatever. Yeah, it was some Chinese yeah. uh, company called Fuse. But that was like in 2015, so pff, who knows? And we haven't oh heard my god, it was that long since. ago? Yeah, it was in 2015. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Stefan, Stefan, if, if you die again and just do fast forward over a Sonic song, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will, I, I, will act, I will actually, I will actually, okay, guys, I'll see, I'll see everyone in part six, see you later. Oh, can't believe Gary's well, fucking dead. Oh, and this isn't a Sonic song, so. Edit, motherfucker, we don't need to see this shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, because this level was that bad. Oh my, did you learn nothing from Secret Rings? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, y'all are too much. I'm why glad did, why I got did, to this Why point. did I join this commentary? Because <laughs> you said yes! <laughs> like this I is the authentic every, Mighty Number no. 9 experience. Like I said in every part, <laughs> I'm smart because I'm a Mega Man fan and have not played Mighty Number no. 9. And y'all wasted your time with this. Well, the uh, actual did, um, I, Okay, well then let me ask, why didn't you give money back when we thought that Mighty Number no. 9 was going to be a good game then? What? Because <laughs> there was a time when everybody like I I know that it's 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 fun to crap on ID number nine now and of course because we laugh at it but there was a time when everybody thought this was going to be good so why didn't you give your money back when everybody thought this was going to be a good game because I was seventeen when the Kickstarter happened and did not have a credit card okay that's fair <laughs> <laughs> you were seventeen my mommy, my mommy and daddy don't let me spend money on things <laughs> as they should have on. <laughs> you know what his his parents were trying to save him i'm the one who gave him this game his, his parents are right not to let stefan talk to people online because they sent him shit like this in the mail <laughs> but but then but then i make them watch but then i make them watch it so it's okay <laughs> you, make, you make you make your parents watch the ops no, I make you watch it. Oh god! You oh, I was gonna say. Gareth, you said you your parents. Fuck. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was gonna say I thought your oh, parents were watching. Good game. Like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose I mean, them the, to the, this. They, they they did watch some of it on their own account, and I'm like. Please don't do that. <laughs> so, so Stefan, seriously, so this part is is twenty minutes. Serious question: How much of it is just us watching this sped up footage with a song over it? Uh, let me see. About, I think it's about uh, four, three or four. Oh, minutes. oh my god! <laughs> the game broke. <laughs> <laughs> it needs an internet connection. I guess. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I don't know what that was. The game, the game broke. Okay. Sure. Also, I just decided to keep this song because it felt like a uh, Persona ending. How dare you compare Mighty Number no. Nine to Persona? <laughs> How could you, Stefan? I try. Yeah, I need to, Mighty Number no. Nine has far better wipers than Persona. Deserve this. <laughs> I needed to make it enjoyable somehow. Like, you know what? You, made you, it, know, you, you know what? I made it enjoyable. Not fucking included it. <laughs> <laughs> this level would have been. This level would have been about a third as long if you didn't. Include your death. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Then it wouldn't have been the true, authentic experience. <laughs> Stefan, I am. I, the next time you record a game, I am forbidding you from doing this to the next LP. You <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was this playthroughs? Mine. Orig originally, I was going to record it, but after playing the game for now, I was like, "Fuck this, <laughs> Stefan, you record it." Okay. <laughs> okay well, no. then it's kind of your fault, then, isn't it? Well, good, Everything good, on this well, channel news. is my fault in some some shape or form. Well, good, well, point. good, well, good news. No more, no more speed ups. You're happy. Oh, good. 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 But the the good thing is that th this level is so this level is so annoying. But the boss fight is probably the easiest in the whole game. Like I didn't die once in this. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay, now little doggy. <laughs> also, this level reminds me of Pinstripes. <laughs> Look, it's the exact same like setup. Are we in the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me he jumps. He jumps on the table and shoots at you. He does. I like how uh, he's aiming nowhere close to Beck right now. <laughs> he's just aiming ninety degrees to the left of Beck. He's aiming at the fourth wall like an idiot. <laughs> he's trying to do us a favor. He's trying to put us out of our misery. Hmm, good point. <laughs> Thank you, Shade. 
So I haven't, I haven't, I haven't really paid too much attention to the soundtrack because every time I play this or watch this, and I'm either listening to something else or having a conversation. So I know, like, uh, from, from from what I gather, the soundtrack, like, no one is like, oh, it's the best soundtrack ever, but. It's it, it's it, it, okay, decent type of you know. Uh, it was like, done I, by Manami Matsume, who did the soundtrack to the first Mega Man, and also contributed a few songs to Shovel Knight. It's okay. it exists. It's a soundtrack. It it's background noise, basically. Well, That's know, all it is. You know, because I I would actually say that about the soundtrack to the first Mega Man. I very rarely w will listen. I, aside from Elect Man's theme. Uh, I, Cup, very I very theme rarely is go back to Great A. It's the best Mega Man song. So. You don't like Bomb Man? <laughs> Shut what? the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Cup Man's Mega theme Man. is the best Mega Man song. Oh, All right, fight me on row. <laughs> okay, gla no. okay, take gladly. Let's go. I, I can't tell if it's Stockholm Syndrome, but uh, the, the boss theme I actually really like. The boss like, theme is like one of the only isn't. themes I remember. Like, it's funny. You can say it's adequate, Ted. That like it's it's passable. I wish I could remember the soundtrack. I've played through this game a dozen times because I'm a masochist, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I can't remember a single track. Like, I couldn't tell you what Countershade's theme sounds like, and we just went through it. Yeah, but I've heard. Here's the thing. Like, it's that's why it's. But when I say it's like it, I said it was background noise. I didn't say it was. I didn't say it was good or yeah. even passable. I said it was. It didn't. It doesn't make my ears bleed. Like it's not unpleasant to listen to. It's just. It's a nothing. Yeah. Is I guess the thing. Yeah, I mean Ted. I mean I come in. I think the group. Ted, I mean I would agree. Like you don't. You don't have to remember it outside of the game for it to not be terrible. I mean that, that's how I feel about the um, soundtrack to Rise of Lyric. Like I, I, I aside from like the shadow boss fight. I don't remember it, any of that music, but I, I seem to record it. You know, it, it's serviceable while you're playing it. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe or, uh, soundtrack uh, video. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's a good, that's a good analogy. Very, yeah. very but, but, good analogy. But, but, but some good. of those soundtracks have good music. Some, of, like a couple of them, have good. Have, soundtracks. Aside from Thor have, have Ragnarok got... in the Avengers theme, like I'm the biggest Marvel shill probably in this group. Yes, but outside you are. of the Avengers theme and. Uh, Captain, okay, Captain America song. First, from Avenger, First, First Avenger. Avenger. Yeah, well, no, I'm talking uh, Star Spangled Man with a Plan and Thor Ragnarok's music. Like, none of it's. Memorable. I remember I will say, I the like... Galaxy 2's theme song, the one that oh, yeah, happens that's, at yeah. the end credits, but yeah. Right. I mean, let me, like, the, like, the Guardian and Thor, like, they have. They have good soundtracks so in terms of licensed songs, but their scores are largely forgettable. Yeah, I will say like... in in the movie itself, it's kind of forgettable. But listening to the soundtrack, I kind of like Homecomings. See, I didn't. I didn't care for you know the one I do like is the first Iron Man. I I actually love that score, but I I don't think they've ever brought that back. Iron Man got like a Iron different Man three credits theme movie. is good. Yeah, that I, one too. Yeah. That one, the Iron Man 3's credits theme is good, but... but see, the reason, I mean, that's what makes Ragnarok stand. It's, like, the only one where, like, they went for, like, si like 80 synth. I mean, like, um, Doctor Strange's theme is just the fucking Star Trek theme. It's like, it's like, what's his name? Michael Gigliani just stole from himself and gave it look like the fucking Sherlock Hobbs Accord. That's what passed for Doctor Strange will, will take the literal note-for-note -note theme from Star Trek and give it Sherlock's harpsichord, which Doctor Strange plays, and no one will fucking tell the difference. Except everyone <laughs> did, because it was fucking terrible. It's the villain? The game, yeah, that, that, there is, the game there doesn't is no even villain. really have a villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody please what cut is... that bit of his hair off. Yeah, what is it? Cut that bit of his fucking hair off. What the... It looks like a twig. Ten, like Honestly, the who's its face? The the not fat doctor is the closest thing to a villain this game has. Like Doctor White. They, Doctor White. Yeah, Doctor Doctor Wiley. White. Yeah. Doc Doctor Eight Bit Afro. <laughs> Mister Graham is basically just in a fune. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he said he he opens up a project that he feels like will uh, will help him, but it ends up being too dangerous and starts destroying everything. <laughs> this game an entire map. Oh my god! It I mean, basically it is the 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 final boss is like the living embodiment of concept. 
with, 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 the, with the cross of proto phantom ruby so this is a yes, documentary. Concept's too smart for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most amazing. Wasn't it? Well, come in, come in. What, wasn't what, wasn't there meant to be a a like behind the scenes thing of this game? Maybe was, was that part of the Kickstarter as well? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying was that so much, much attention shit. to it. There was so much shit that was meant to be in this Kickstarter. <laughs> Again, like seriously, how how have they not legally released the 3DS version yet when that was one of the tier goals? You see, here's the thing. The rewards for this Kickstarter were so badly handled that they there was the physical like collector's box with the manual that was supposed to come out. The manual was bigger than the box, so you couldn't yes. even put the manual inside of the box. <laughs> and, did, and Ted, did, didn't those both come out like two and a half years after the game did? It only uh, came out last year. I, yeah, like, a yeah. year like over a year. After. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> 